Okay, the way we're going to solve this is we're going to go to the odd power here of cosine and rewrite it as the integral of cosine of x times cosine squared of x. And then we keep the sine to the fourth of x dx. Here what I recognize is, is that if I let u equal sine of x, then when I find du, it's going to take away this cosine x. And then I can just use the Pythagorean identity to rewrite cosine squared of x in terms of sine of x. So I'm going to solve this by letting u equal sine of x. Then du is equal to cosine of x dx. So that means that dx is equal to du divided by cosine of x. So now I'm going to sub these two pieces of information into the integral. I'm going to keep the cosine there and the cosine squared of x. And now u is equal to sine of x, so I'm going to rewrite this as u to the fourth. And then dx is equal to du over cosine of x. So now I can cancel this cosine x with this cosine x, and I get the integral of cosine squared of x times u to the fourth times du. And now I'm going to use the fact that cosine squared of x is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x. Okay, the Pythagorean identity. So I'll rewrite this as the integral of 1 minus sine squared of x, take care of the cosine squared of x, and then times u to the fourth du. Okay, now I'm going to take my u, which is sine x, and replace it right here. So this here is equal to the integral of 1 minus u squared times this u to the fourth du. And now we distribute. So this is equal to the integral of u to the fourth times 1 minus u squared times u to the fourth, which is u to the sixth du. And that is equal to, for the u to the fourth portion, u to the fifth over 5 minus, from the u to the sixth, we get u to the seven over seven, plus c. And now we just sub back in our u, which is sine of x. So we get sine to the fifth of x over five, minus sine to the seventh of x over seven, plus c.